The collection contains two works by the great Emilian artist Giovan Francesco Barbieri, known as Guercino, in Italian, Cross-Eyed Man. The name was given because he had a deformity in his right eye. The artist develops a poetic and tumultuous style in his paintings. He grew up on the outskirts of two important capitals of art, Bologna, the city of the Carracci brothers, and Ferrara, the place where the Venetian and distance traditions met. The canvas depicting the Immaculate Conception was commissioned in 1656 by the nobleman from Ancona, Carlo Antonio Camerata. It's a work made with a soft and delicate color and with a loose and light touch, which reveals some original characters. In fact, the iconography of this immaculate conception recalls the dominant one in the 17th century, but it differs from it for the introduction of some elements, such as the figure of the God Almighty and the waxing moon on which the Virgin stands as a symbol of chastity. The most innovative detail, however, is the representation of the Madonna with uncovered head and long loose hair, giving the idea to reproduce the iconographic representation of Venus rising from the sea alongside the conventional representation. The Santa Palazia, on the other hand, was commissioned to the painter in 1658 by the Marquis Gregorio Spada, senator of Bologna, for the monastic complex dedicated to the same saint in Ancona. Palazia, who was born in Ancona according to tradition, and who became a martyr in Fermo under the Diocletian period, is one of the patron saints of the Doric city. Guercino wanted to immortalize the moment when an angel announces his glory to her, pointing at heaven with his right hand. The woman is represented in prayer, according to the classic iconographic scheme of an Annunciation. <laughs>